Guten Tag, welcome back to CFC TV. This is my review of the Chelsea versus Manchester City match. Um, and it finished 5-1 to us. I mean, who would have thought? Um, as always, I'm going to start with the lineup. It was basically exactly the same that started against PSG. Courtois in goal, Aspi on the right, Ivanovic and Cahill as centre backs, Baba Rahman on the left, Mikel and Fabregas holding midfielders, Hazard, Pedro, and William behind the striker, and Costa obviously played up, played up front. Um, I wasn't really surprised, but that, to be honest, that's what I, to be honest, I hoped for. Oscar was fit again, so I sort of somehow expected him to start because you know Gus played him basically every time until he got picked up that injury. Um, but you know, I think Hazard, Pedro, and William work really well together with their pace and stuff. You know, um, and I thought maybe Matic would come in for Mikel because Matic was obviously suspended midweek against PSG, so I thought maybe he would come in. But you know, I, I really didn't mind that lineup. JT is still not fit. Gus said he might be fit next weekend for the Premier League match, but you know he didn't make the squad this time. And you know we won five one, so no big deal. Um, what we have to take in consideration if we look at that result, Man City fielded a really weak team. Obviously they're playing um, Dynamo Kiev away in the Champions League on Wednesday, I think, um, and they only have thirteen first team players fit at the time anyway, uh, right now anyway. So. Um, they feel that a really young team like Iheanacho and Fopala played up front. I've never even heard of Fopala. Then Selina, I think he got brought on against Spurs last week, but you know he hasn't wasn't he isn't really a player that usually plays. Um, and some Serrano guy played, uh, some Garcia guy played, and some can't even say his name. Uh, some some centre back. So they're basically only players that you you know that you that actually sometimes play. A Kolarov, Savaleta, and um, Demichelis. Maybe Fernando and Caballero was in goal, but those aren't first team players really. So um, we they did it did make it a little bit easier for us than you know it could have been, but um you know that's their own problem. If they don't want to win the FA Cup, well then we're gonna win it. <laughs> Quite simple. Um, obviously, starting with the goals, how it just turned out in the beginning of the game. I really had to admit, the City youngsters, I underestimated them a little bit in the beginning. Because they really pressed us, they did play some nice football, they didn't really create a big chance. They had one good chance where one of their strikers just completely, I think it was for Paolo, or whatever his name is, um, just, you know, basically just made fun of Cahill and Ivanovic in one move. Had a decent shot, but Courtois saved it. Um, after 35 minutes, um, Diego made it 1-0. It was a good piece of, of football, you know, to, to create that goal. It was a lot of passing around. Hazard gave it to Fabregas. Um, Hazard made the run. Fabregas chipped it over the defence. Hazard crossed it in and Diego just headed it in. Which, you know, was a good goal. Um, just, just, you know, we, we had loads of chances before we scored. Like Pedro had hit the post sh who should have scored. I can't remember if there was another one who actually should have scored. But, you know, Pedro had a huge chance. Oh, yeah, I think Pedro even had another one. Um... I'm, I'm, not quite sure. It was, you know, it was five goals and so many chances. I got a little bit confused by now. <laughs> um, but yeah, just yeah. I think it was ninety three seconds after we scored, City made it one one. Terrible defending first by Baba Raman, who was just asleep and didn't cover the run by Iheanacho, who crossed it in. Um, Tibo got a touch to it, and then Aspi tried to clear it, was sort of with the outside of his boot and just hit it straight at the leg of uh, in running strike off for Parla. And you know, it just basically deflected in our goal. A bit unlucky and a bit annoying at the time, obviously. But you know, um, the, we came out the 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 break. We really came out the blocks. Like um, great assist by Hazard. Um, it was a really good counter attack. I think they had a corner or something, and we just started a good counter attack by Hazard running down the right flank, slowing down the play a little bit, waiting for Williams to make the run, playing the perfect pass, and William had a beautiful finish in the far post. Like a low shot in the like far corner it was a really good finish, really good pass by Hazard. It looked really good today. Um, and then the third goal came by Gary Cahill. I'm not quite sure what he even did up that high up the field. I'm not sure if we had a corner before that. Um, it was Hazard on the flank, he sort of went past the player or two, um, tried to pass it in or low cross it in. He got deflected and just fell to Gary Cahill, who just had a shot. Probably the keeper should have saved it. But, you know, he didn't. And um, that basically sealed the game for us. Because um, I think if it would have been one or, uh, 2 1 only in our favour, I don't know, after 60 minutes, maybe he would have brought on Fernandinho 
um, and Sterling or whoever he had on the bench. But, you know, we were 3-1 up, which sort of sealed it for us, which was really important. Um, and then Hazard made it 4-1 um, in the 76th minute. Uh, no, I keep missing that up. 67th minute. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it was a beautiful free kick. It was like William and him were talking and like William tapped him on the shoulder. So like going, well, you, you take it. Um, what our players did really well, we sort of put three of our players next to their wall to sort of just block the keeper's view. And he was, you know, you could just see why he's not their first team keeper, their first choice keeper. Because as Hazard was taking the run up, um, Caballero moved towards like, not his side of the goal, but like the side where the, you know, the wall is standing. And Hazard just put it in the side of the keeper. Our players like just, you know, duck down. And Hazard just put a really good free kick. But, you know, he would have saved it if he would have, you know, stayed put where he was, the keeper. Uh, but, you know, not taking away anything of Hazard. You know, he had two assists, um, two and a half, let's say, because, you know, the, his ball for the Cahill, Cahill goal got deflected and, you know, then it went in. And he scored a goal as well. Um... So I was I was really happy with that. Then just basically after the goal, Bertrand Traore came on for Diego, and um, Oscar came on for Pedro. Um, and yeah, I mean the, the game just went on in the same way really. Like and we had a penalty, which probably wasn't a penalty to be honest. Um, Traore just got a bit pushed by Demi Kaylis. Not a penalty in my opinion. Oscar stepped up. Um, I don't know why Hazard didn't take it. I think Traore wanted to take it as well, but Oscar took it, missed it. Um, Probably shouldn't take a penalties anymore. You know he missed his last two, <laughs> but you know, um, and just close to the end of the game, 89th minute actually, Traore made a five-one. Can't remember who crossed the ball. He just got ahead to it, but it was really weird. Like to be honest, the keeper should have saved it. Like he just got a touch to it, and it just went in a high like bow, and just fell to the inside of the post, and just you know just dropped in. The keeper was like looking at it. And, I think he was thinking it was going out or something. You know, it went in. And, um, yeah, that's just... It's quality, isn't it? Um, like, just if you think about it, we've hit the post twice. Pedro did and Traore did, like, uh, shortly after he came on, after Hazard passed as well. And then we missed the penalty, and still we scored five goals. Like, that is so unlike us this season, isn't it? Um, but, obviously, really happy that it, you know, turned out like that. Um... As I said, we always have to take into consideration who we played against. Not the name of the club, but, you know, the players. Um, you know, we have to win against two. Like, we have to beat what, you know, gets put in our way. And we did. And um, that's all, you know, us fans can ask from the team. Um, you know, we've won three games. I'm not sure if I said that yet. Because um, I made a video for SW6. They sort of have subcams and I recorded a quick video for them already. I'm not sure if I said it in that or this video. Um, that we won three games out of the last six. We won 5-1 against MK Dons, obviously. Newcastle last weekend and now this. Which is, you know, quality. We scored 11 goals this week. Obviously five against Newcastle and City and one against PSG. Um, which is one hell of a week, isn't it? Um... So yeah, to come to the players individually, Thibault didn't have to do anything, couldn't do anything about the goal, actually even got a touch to it, um, but you know, nothing he could have done about it. Aspi, you know, he was somehow a fault for the, for the goal, he could have cleared it better, had a little bit of a silly pass right to Iheanacho towards the end, nothing came of it, but still a bit silly, but generally he was quite good. Kale and Ivanovic were both really good, except for the first, like five minutes but like for Parla just made fun of them basically. Um Kale had a tough game. He, it looked like he had to come off, like he had to really stretch out his leg. The physios had to come on but you know he managed to play on then I might have even broken his nose. He had really bad nosebleed all game long. Then he got hit in the face with an elbow like right here. He had to take a lot today but you know he scored as well. So um really good performance by him. Ivanovic as well quite happy with those two. Obviously not the strongest opponent but um you know, they did well against PSG as well. Baba, I don't know. He, he should just do a bail. Just please become a winger because defensively he's just so bad. Like, I, I'm not sure if I said it in the midweek review, but the same thing that happened for Cavani's goal happened today. He was just a bit too far up the pitch, like five yards ahead of the other three defenders. And then, then someone made a run. This time it was um, Iheanacho. Midweek it was Cavani. 
um, and he was just stood there. He was just, if he would have if he was standing in the right position, right next to Ivanovic, he could have followed the run because he's quick. But no, he was five yards too far up the pitch, so he couldn't do anything about it. It's just terrible positioning and just terrible defending overall. Yanacho sort of crossed it in, or low crossed it in. As I said, Chiba got a touch, and then you know Aspi tried to clear it and it went in. Um, but still, I was really annoyed by, by Baba. He, he's really good going forward. He has good crosses. His passing is decent. He's quite pacey. He's calm on the ball, but his defending is just terrible. But I don't know. Maybe he can improve that in the next one or two seasons, but he really has to. If he wants to become our regular fullback, our re regular left back, he has to be better defensively. Like that, it just doesn't work like that. Um, and then we come to Mikel. Had a solid game, very solid game. Um, just calmed the, the game down, you know, distributed the ball to Fabregas, who, you know, created everything, distributed it out to the flanks, uh, Mikel, um, you know, he, he just did well, had a good game again. Um, and then Fabregas, he was like man of the match, probably. I know he, he didn't score, I'm not sure if he even got an assist, but he was just world class. Like, the passes he made to it. I know we played against inexperienced youngsters, but... We also had people like Demi Kalis and Fernando and Kolarov and Zavaleta against us. So it's not like we played, I don't know, a League One side or a championship side, you know. Like, um, he was just top class, you know. He made the ball for Hazard's assist for the first goal. He just, he, he almost assisted Pedro when he hit the post in the first half. He was just top class. His passing was just ridiculous. Um, and then Hazard, obviously, he made two assists, two and a half, as I said. Scored a goal, probably his best performance this season for us. Really happy for him. As I said, should have taken a penalty. Also, Fabrica said in the post-match interview, he told him, take the pen. But, you know, he didn't, then, you know, doesn't really matter. 5-1, 4-1, who cares? 6-1, you know. Um, William didn't have his best game. He lost the ball a few times in the first half, in a bit of a silly way, but, you know, overall he did, he did well as well. Like, um... Obviously, he scored the, the second goal, which was crucial to score really early on. But, you know, overall, his performance wasn't the best, like against PSG, where I th thought he was incredible. But it was good. Pedro, he was basically the opposite of William. Played outstandingly well, just couldn't couldn't find the back of the net. As I said, hit the post once. And then once, I think it was another cross by Hazard again. See, he always has a cross in the balls in today. Um, and he just got a touch to it, and Cavalera made a wonder save. Um, great reactions by him. But um, he just couldn't get the ball into the back of the net, but he was great otherwise. His touch was great, his dribbling was great, his distribution was really good, his connection with, excuse me, um, Fabregas and Hazard and also Costa was really good. So yeah, well, I was really happy with that. Diego, he scored the goal, played well, had good link-up play, had good hold-up play, got subbed off after 70 minutes and... Um, you no, know, I was just happy with his performance. Like um, he did, he did well. No, no chance that I can think of right now that he should have done better or something. He had basically one good chance and he took it. So that's what you want to see from a striker. Um, I've just found out today, actually, including this game now, since we signed Diego, he scored against United, he scored against Arsenal twice, he scored against Spurs twice, he scored against Liverpool, and now he scored against City as well. Talk about a big, to big game player. Just in the Champions League, is not as clean, clinical for us. But in the league and like cup competitions, he's top class for us. Um, and now coming to the subs, obviously Bertrand Traore and Oscar came on um, after 70 minutes. And, you know, Bertrand Traore hit the post, scored a goal, won the penalty, which wasn't a penalty, but still wanted to take the penalty. And, you know, he did really well. I'm really impressed by him you know he doesn't look like a real striker to me he's a bit too weak he looks more like he looks like the perfectly suited winger for the Premier League not too small like a bit bulky but really pacey but you know he's been playing striker recently and you know he scored three goals whenever he came on like he scored against MK Dons when he came on he scored against Newcastle last week when he came on and now he scored again so um, I'm really impressed by him um, obviously Oscar came on Obviously, he should have scored the penalty. Had another decent shot right after he came on. And then Hazard and him had a counter-attack just like minutes before the end. Um, or like seconds before the end, basically. Hazard probably should have gone himself. But, you know, he laid it off to Oscar. It just took too long and then put, the, put his shot wide. So Oscar wasn't that good, but, you know. Um, yeah. And then Matic came on for Mikel after uh, 82 minutes. A bit of a stupid move. Like, we were 4-1 up at the time. You couldn't bring on Loftus Cheek. Like why? 
it's a bit it's a bit annoying and a bit disrespectful to Ruben, I think, because why did Matic need to play today? I was about, well, if you wanted Matic to play, then start him, because Mikel wouldn't have moaned about not playing because he played against PSG midweek. Um, but yeah, you know. Um, overall, I think everybody did well, except Baba and maybe Aspi didn't have the greatest of games. Um, you know, it's a 5-1 win against Man City. We're through to the quarterfinals. I don't know, don't actually know when the draws take place, but, you know, whoever we're going to get drawn against, um, we're going to be able to beat them. Because um, Spurs lost to Palace today. Um, obviously, Arsenal have a replay against Hull because they played 0-0 at, at, at the Emirates, I think. Um, United plays Shrewsbury, which they will probably beat. But, you know, you never know with them, with Rooney and De Gea injured. And then who else? Is there another big team in there? I don't think there is. Obviously, there's West Ham who are doing really well, who beat um, Blackburn 4-1 after being 1-0 down today, which is a good, good, good result for them. But yeah, I I said before the game, if we win today, I think we're winning, the, we're winning this FA Cup. And I stick by that. You know, it's just three more games to win it. And um, I think I think we can do that. So yeah, that was basically it for me. Leave anything you have to say down in the comments below. Anything like particular to any players, how they perform today, any goals or whatever you have to have to say or correct me in whatever you want i don't know i make mistakes sometimes and um leave a like rating if you did enjoy the video subscribe if you haven't already obviously i highly appreciate every single sub that you know comes in and yeah that was it for me and see you for a review of the i can't even think of who we're playing next week i think sunderland or southampton one of the two anyway see you then